Dick Dan, how you doing, man? Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? Right, forty-five, forty-three. We got a fuck ton of shorts this morning. Looks like they hit the ETFs hard and they borrowed a million. I think we're gonna get a red morning. Pretty red morning. I don't know why they're letting all these fucking shorts save up. It's weird. It's yesterday's snow. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't get a couple people in Discord today. Let's see if we can. Cost to borrow skyrocketed. Uh, there was like 36% max it went up to. But they have all these shorts, man. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna go up today. It might be a pretty red day, honestly. They might just fuck up options, collect some premiums. I don't think this updates till nine though. I don't think you can see dark pool numbers till nine. I'm not sure, man. I honestly didn't even see his hypothesis. But, I mean, I said after three weeks of the CAT system, the third final week of it going up and running, we should start seeing some kind of movement. They don't have a... Yesterday was the last day for error reporting. Which, honestly, I thought would have helped us go up. But I'm not sure. Why does Astro say we're going to moon next week? I haven't talked to him in a couple of days, honestly. Did he post that on the YouTube video?
on Marcel's YouTube. Oh, yeah, I was just trying to see why. Ash, I thought we were going to rip. Somebody said he said he was going to rip next week. Bots has some good DD up. Wasn't this computer share shit the thing that everybody was pushing on Reddit super hard? Fuck computer share is. Is this what you're talking about with his, uh... Good morning, man. What's up? How you doing, Tony? Hey, so let me let me blow some minds real quick. Oh, it's your Oh hell yeah! Did you get in here? Yeah, motherfucker. What do you mean? What up, Astro? Hey, what's up, Welcome Back to the chat, bro. That guy. Finally. Ooh, I thought he was sleeping on the couch. Astro, Shut did up, you man. see my AMC? <laughs> he saw all these lines uh, at AMC and GME, and he had to come run. Did you see the AMC version of this? Let the man. Yeah. Let let Astro say he's, he's about to blow our minds. Apparently, so let him speak. Yeah. yeah. So. The, that yellow line that, as it converges into the blue, if you look, the blue line is absorbing the yellow. That represents the pressure being built into the MOAS, at least in this uh, dimension of it. There's other stocks that are doing this. In particular, GameStop. Here's the craziest part. And I wanted to make a video about this, but um, I just never got around to it. Uh, I feel like it's something the community should voice themselves instead of me as a singular person. The biggest infiltration of the apes, the biggest uh, crime committed to us via propaganda is that GameStop and AMC are literally traded against each other with VIX being the pivot point. If you look, they're on the inverse of the, the, the cycle, the, the overall cycle. Um, I showed it earlier on stream how GameStop is poised like AMC was in late May, and AMC is poised like GameStop was in late January. So what does that mean for GameStop the entire right time now? Entire being traded against each other, and the friction of doing that with VIX being the pivot point, uh, eventually uh, creates a constructive interference, and that's when both of these things moon at the same time. But when they completely seemingly diverge, if you pull up a correlation indicator of AMC and GameStop, you will see that they are at the furthest most point of correlation. And that's when things go fuck wild. That's where we're at. And what you're seeing with that, uh, um, uh, what was that, the, the 
uh, vortex indicator. Right. The, uh, that yellow line is literally feeding into the blue, and the blue line is serving as a cumulative rolling value. Um, if you can do the weekly ripple thing animation with it. Sure, I can try. Wait, oh, I don't think it shows ve weekly. Hold on. Yeah, or daily, whatever, whatever time yeah, frame daily. we were earlier. Yeah, daily. It does only daily and four hours the max, I think. One second. Um, look at where the yellow and the blue intersect. You see how the yellow is feeding into the blue line as you pass through time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is where it starts. That's where it begins. Yeah. So now, so now, run through that again. Come on, should I show the price too? I mean, the chart? Uh, yeah, 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 you're fine. Yeah. Which chart are we looking at, brothers? AMC, right? Yep. Uh, I, I got to do it inverse. There you go. Um, and then, actually, no, go to the weekly again. Go to, uh, you had it right. W at the bottom. Yeah. And then do the, zoom in a little bit. There you go. Uh, a little bit out. And now I'll do that animation again. Can you pull in like another two months of time on the left? Like zoom out so that you have to. Yep. Perfect. Should I squeeze it in? Because it's showing like now differently. Hold on. Uh, zoom in a little bit just so it doesn't screw the. There you go. Yep. 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 See how that yellow line is trying to maintain that same geometry? That yeah, same yeah. geometry also looks like the, the tomahawk pattern that forms right before we run. That's the pressure building up right there. But it was feeding into the blue line. Um, I way. mean, I don't know, man. This is a... <laughs> Maybe the guys see stuff I don't. I, I just don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. Because I'm looking at those things, and I see they kind of wave with each other a little bit, but... I don't know. I'm not a super hardcore with those. I'm not really too sure, to be honest with you. Sure, go ahead and paraphrase it. I mean, it was just spiking. I saw every T35, but I'm not sure.
Yeah, it might, but at the same time, they might just move their money around to cryptos. They're going to move it to stocks that are going to crash. They're going to take out puts. They're going to do a whole bunch of different kind of hedging for that. So, And on top of that, the thing that I used to think was going to make them die off would be all their clients asking for their money back. But turns out that they can actually tell their clients they can't take their money at certain under certain circumstances. So they won't even let them pull out. I don't know, man. I mean, some people, like that, some people think the crash will fuck them up. I'm not too sure. I mean, a crash will fuck up hedge funds, for sure. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if we want to just kill hedge funds, yeah, we can. We'll be able to kill the hedge funds just fine, and we'll get a short squeeze. But we want that Moaz squeeze. So we gotta fuck up the market makers. I don't have Weeble, honestly. I'm not too sure. Depends how to do I just don't get why they're not using these. It's really fucking weird. Wish market community would fuck off and work already. There we go. What the fifty one percent? What the fuck? Twenty seven percent of volume. So this means basically a institution. Twenty seven percent of volume. When the average is 10, so we have 17% more volume of large block trades. So either company is buying the shit out of this. That make no sense. Well, they're holding shares because they, they'll hedge for options. But the more options that get out of the money, the more of those shares they can sell because they don't need to hedge for them anymore, which will drop the price. I don't even know what our, how many fucking options are even. Yeah, I mean, this is why I hate weekly calls so much. But they are still shorting on these ETFs. We're at a uh, 46.29. If you can't look at a computer. Yeah, the dark pool is down, but you see these institution buying's up 15%. So one institution could have just bid a did a big sell off. And if an institution is doing a big sell-off and they're using those, because remember, they still use those 1 point, right here was 4.8 million. So they still use 1.1 million and if you have an institution selling off, we're going to drop pretty hard right away. Twenty four percent of all volume. So, yeah, I can almost guarantee an institution sold this morning. And trust me, th this 53%, it it's still early. It's been 24 minutes. This will, in the ne next 30, 40 minutes, in an hour, this will be over 60 again. Don't worry. Wait. 
Mine's Uh, Wire might be joining us here in a second. Let's go. All right, uh, we're at 15, uh, 4589. A little small candle going down. See, we're moving up real quick. We're at 54% dark pool. I'll be up real quick here in a second. Getting high and talking about you. <laughs> I mean, I still think November we're going to have a, a really nice month, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I've been saying November for a while, so I don't expect it to just massively jump up until we, you know, get a little bit farther down. They're still going to keep on loan that spring up here. Is the contracts, they can still afford to keep pulling out is the contracts, so until, you know, that collateral becomes too much and they have to stop doing those, we're already back up to 56% dark pool. No. Charts really don't mean much, guys. I mean, unless you're going to sell that day or you're going to buy, why does it matter what the price is until, it, until we squeeze? As you guys can read that shit. I like how this, I don't know if you guys saw this trade trade shit, but like how stupid are they? they it literally says Corey Toomer in his fucking, in this dude's name. Fucking clowns. Is this a smoking section? Of course, my friend. You're good. Okay. But. Let's check out how many, uh, 
shares they brought back yesterday. <coughs> like none. Let's go. So they borrowed shares yesterday, they didn't return them, so that's what's up. If you guys ever want to look at or learn, learn how to like see the shares, it, this is like if these little cyan bars, and when they go down, that's returning up borrowing. SCD. Which fucking... Oh, Smile Direct Club. Man, somebody asked me about this a couple of days ago. Uh, I think they're shorted pretty good, but... I don't really think they're going to squeak. I mean, just like we were saying before, just because there's a you know, decent amount of short interest, unless they're losing money, they're not going to pay it. And I didn't really see them losing all that much. I mean, it might have done a little burst here. They might have covered just a small, small amount. But I don't really see Smile Direct Club, like, popping off. But I'm not sure. I mean, it's really not that crazy. They have a big percentage of the float, but it's not very costly, so unless it starts costing them a lot of money at this point, I mean, they might cover a little bit, but it looks like I don't know. It might move, but I don't really see it like going fucking crazy or nothing. Not financial advice. I mean, obviously, do do your own thing. Back down. We're already back to 59% dark pools, just in case you guys were worried that we weren't going to hit the 60. <laughs> that was quick. We still have a lot of fucking institutions either buying today or selling. Obviously, they're probably selling, so. Small direct clubs getting bought by Amazon. I don't know, man. What? I mean, I haven't seen that article yet. I mean, I've only seen it on Reddit, and I don't really know if I... If you got the link for that, that'd be sweet. But I don't know. Other than that, I don't really see anything.
59.6% dark pools. Need that till tomorrow. Uh, there's a hundred thousand more shorts available. They added like 200 whole fucking ETS back. Classic. So, out of the money. We have 406,000 calls out of the money, 108,000 in. Like I said, guys, make sure if you're doing calls, weekly calls are risky. How does dark pools go from 35 to 60? Uh, people woke up and started buying on their smartphones. No, I mean, like we said, it, uh, No, like I said, every single day, your daily price doesn't matter. Unless you're going to buy or sell that day, it really doesn't matter. I mean, if it's at 50 today, what's it matter to us? Until they start covering. We already saw that they, you know, they didn't need to cover at 77 before, so. We're at 4533 for those of you that can't look at your computer. Been pretty garbage today. Volume's pretty low. Oh, not that low. Not that bad though. Yeah, love you, honey. See you in a little bit. Man, what am I doing? I'm not even pulling up unusual whales right now. Pull that up. Check out the options chain. People are buying one day fucking <laughs> one day calls. I love it. Got no big whales buying in. as part of a multi-leg option strategy. That's pretty sweet that he added that fucking little thing. Damn, he added all sorts of new symbols. I don't know if you guys ever use whales, but man, he's it's an amazing, amazing platform. Look at all this fucking money going on the spy today. Jesus Christ. Millions. Why cores say dark pools don't matter? I don't know. He also says public's a good platform to use, but I just showed everyone 9,000 times that they use market centers and fucking market makers and dark pools, which he could have found out in 10 seconds, so probably too busy counting his super fucking jet money to actually do DD again. He likes to lead people astray, because if we stop, you know, using payment for order flow, you know, he stops making affiliation money, which, like I said, I'm done fucking with that shit. I'm going to start calling YouTubers out. I don't really care. It's beyond stupid at this point. Like, let's fucking get to the finish line. Stop worrying about personal bank accounts.
I mean, go ahead. If you ever get a hold of him or ask him a question like I had to before, be like, hmm, how come any time anyone brings up fucking payment forward flow and how it's bad and help hurts us, blah, 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 you change the subject. Is it your affiliation links? Fucking clown. So sick of fucking Matt Quiz, dude. And, and, and it's like, if I'm wrong, why is Dave Lauer the guy who he says is, you know, his holy grail? How is, why is Dave Lauer saying I'm right? But, sorry, I'm kind of cranky this morning. I'm not going to go on about Matt Coors today. <laughs> no more Matt Coors talk, my friend. Ah, uh, we're at 4516. Let's see here. Check out that dark pool. We're at 61.8%. Like I said, everybody's waking up. Still fucking using there. We're at 15% volume for today on large block trades, which is pretty fucking high. So I'm thinking an institution this morning sold off. Or this is like sweep trades right here. Basically, they were doing smaller sell offs with the shorting hey I never checked that one day if I was right on that hey look I was right it was 60% short volume that day you guys let's go called that shit let's check out the dark flow in case somebody wants to you know play some good calls here um how much shit going on? Wired. I don't know what the hell just happened in Discord there. <laughs> One second. Can you hear me, Wired? Oh, you got your headphones and everything muted, buddy. I don't think they can hear you on the stream, man. Yeah, the borrow rate fee being 1% is just beyond retarded. Doesn't make sense. What just happened? Am I fucking high, dude? Wasn't this like... <laughs> what the fuck just said? Wasn't this, wasn't this a second ago? Like 400,000 and this is like 100,000 of my like stone right now. What the fuck just happened? We didn't drop a little fucking anything. What the hell? That doesn't make sense. We're at 62.6% dark pool, so it just keeps going up and up. Alright. It's time. I need to keep popping this out because this is getting fucking stupid. Nobody's hey, everybody. Hope. Sorry that that played. Crazy. 
See, the reason why there's more shares to buy, there will always be more shares to buy. This is what I was talking about with the market maker and the synthetics. The market maker is legally allowed to create or fill a uh, share, even if they don't have it. They're allowed to fill before locate. So they're basically the ones making all these synthetics, these IOUs and everything. So as long as we keep buying, market maker's jobs are to provide liquidity and give us those. So they're going to keep on making these synthetics. That's why we need to kill those motherfuckers. And then, like I said, my god, I can't even imagine how much we could ask for per share. Compared to fucking taking down just hedge funds. Like I said, we'll still make a shit ton versus hedge funds. A shit ton versus hedge funds. But, I mean, when we fucking killed off those market makers, not only are we gonna make bank, bank, but you're changing everything. You're changing the entire system. You're changing everything we're fighting for. So, that should be our ultimate goal. <laughs> Three hundred and five thousand out of the money, seventy three thousand calls in the money currently. They love those options chains, man. Well, we're not up just against those market makers. I mean, you're also against... You got Virtue, obviously Citadel. You got fucking all those banks that are helping them out. It's a central bank regime. So those are the people writing the fucking ISDA contracts that are helping those guys out also. So, I mean, we're taking on the banks. We're taking on, obviously, they're paying politicians. Because if you look at politicians that are paid off by Citadel for speeches. Uh, I think yesterday we just looked at somebody. I can't remember his name. It was some senator that was paid off by Citadel. That's that's what they do. They just pay these guys to come do a speech. They'll give them like fucking $5 million, and then those guys are always in their back pocket. Tim Scott, that's the guy. This motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go right to the whales, man. This whales he showed it yesterday. This dude just straight up got paid off. It was fucking crazy. And no one cares. It's just ridiculous. Because the people that would punish them, just like fucking in the stock market, the DTCC is made up of all the central bankers. So when they actually do get punished, guess who gets the money anyways? Oh, yeah. The central bankers. No. Where is... Like I said, this whole system's just fucked, dude. I can't find it. I don't know where he posted it. Posts a lot of shit a day, I guess. But yeah, that that Tim Scott, he, he got paid off by Citadel a couple of times here. Can't find it, though. Oh, wait a second. I fucking posted it on his wall. <laughs> now that I remember. Let's go. There it is. There it is. I forgot I posted it too. Yeah, look at that shit, dude. Just a clean $4 million. No big deal. See what I'm saying? The whole system's fucked. It's who's paying off who, who's rubbing whose shoulders, dude. Oh, shit. Let's go.